Hello everybody, this is Coach Tyra Woodruff, the Helpful Entrepreneur, and in this video today we're going to talk about Ryan Dice and the 7 day email marketing plan and my thoughts on it. So stay tuned. Well hello everybody, how are you doing today? This is Saturday morning, oh, it's still morning, I actually recorded this video last night about 1.30 I was totally enamored with this awesome training that I watched by Ryan Dice from Digital Marketer and I wanted to make a video on my thoughts on it and share with you what's in there and um it didn't come out right the sound started morphing I said it's so funny because it was a good long video but anyway today's the day and I definitely want to get this content out to you um first let me explain email marketing a lot of people say it's dead it's not it's just not dealt with correctly in the past for my clients and my teammates I've always suggested you know you should email every single day and if you can't do that at least every other day that's been my motto um, I personally what I do is um, I email basically every other day and I send broadcasts at as they come in as something comes up that I want to share with the people on my list um, I mix it up I do keep personalized things in there too to help build rapport and so on and so forth but I've never heard it laid out like this in such a way that makes so much sense it's gonna make your email marketing so much easier I know a lot of people don't even get to it because doing broadcast is too complicated or or whatever it is you know they don't know what to talk about they can't structure it themselves so with this seven day outline and it's called he calls it the engagement based segmentation this is going to make life so much easier for you and as you grow your list bigger and bigger and have different offers or different capture pages or landing pages that people are going to you're going to be able to judge that list out and set it out you can set this whole thing out just right so here is I'm gonna give you the rundown okay out of seven days you're going to be emailing your people right so let's say for the sake of this on Monday you're going to be sending what they call a blind email and in this blind email is basically going to be maybe a story about you something you did over the weekend something endearing something maybe a little funny something that's going to touch the people that are already engaged in your brand these are the people that are you know on your social media they're engaged with you they watch your videos they go to your blog these people are the super engagers and they're going to be very 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 receptive to this particular kind of email at the end of it you're going to get them to click the link okay you're going to say what you're offering and you're going to ask them to take action now when you this is a very very important part I want you to take note do not send them directly to a sales page without another lead capture form because the purpose of this little thing is like another funnel inside the funnel you're going to send them to a capture page designed to match exactly the product that you are promoting that week okay so the purpose behind that is psychologically they recommit to you psychologically it's a huge huge thing the more times you can get a person or persuade a person or provide enough value to a person that they say yes the better the process goes for both of you not only are people that say yes more when engaging in your product or your brand not only are they more productive for you they also are happier with what they purchase so the more you get them to say yes right off the bat the better off you are so start with make sure on this week you're using the same landing page for each day okay so you're gonna be during the seven days you're gonna be promoting a particular offer um, and you're gonna be using a squeeze page every time right and you're going to make sure that they re-opt in and you create a whole separate list for the people that have decided to engage with this offer um, on day two so we got number one right number one is the blind email and we already know who's gonna be clicking on that the people engaged with your brand number two is Tuesday direct promotion this is the day you're gonna write a sales copy you're going to write from start to finish you know you're going to talk about the problem that you're solving the solution and the benefits of your product and why it's the one that they should buy with a direct call to action to purchase using the same squeeze page okay the people that are going to purchase on that day or are going to continue on or going to re-opt in are the people that are not necessarily engaged with you as much as they are engaged with the topic 
you know that in your marketing sometimes you're pulling people towards just you and some people are being pulled towards what you know in marketing it's it's all all blends together the people that are more engaged with your topic or your niche are the ones that, that are going to take action on Tuesday okay number three is Wednesday this is the day well anytime somebody opts in they want content they want value so Wednesday is going to be your day is your content day it's going to be content that's related to what you are offering them that week okay it could be a video on how to do something within the system that you're selling or um, maybe a how-to on how to, if it's a product you know how to there's a lot of people out there in shake companies or nutrition companies maybe it's a it's a video on how to make the best shake you know and show them you know videotape yourself making one and what you put in yours and why you love it so much so it's going to be a content based day so whether you're selling a product or a digital product or whatever it is your book whatever it is it's going to be something that's related value based it's going to help reset their whole mind and in the PS is where you're going to get them to click the link and you know after you've said goodbye you can say PS you know by the way da -da 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 -da, and get your squeeze page in there again okay so that's Monday Tuesday and Wednesday blind email direct promotion and then content okay number four is Thursday don't email them anything give them a break give them a chance have you ever noticed this about yourself you might be on people's lists and you might not be able to get back to them right away because you have a lot of emails coming in that are you know that you need to deal with immediately and you go back to people so that you can read what they said and that would be the day that you would do it Thursday take the day off, day off of emailing your list give your list a minute to breathe and go back and check out your emails if they have if they were not able to open them the day that they were delivered okay number five now this is gonna go two different ways they're both wild card days Friday and Saturday is wild card days if everything is going well say for instance you have a small list of maybe a hundred people and you're sending the offer from Monday doing the sequence that we've just talked about and it's going well say 20% of them re-opt in and 20% of those people actually follow through the whole sales process this is wonderful if that's how it's going you are going to do one of two different things you're going to either deliver more content focusing on the product that's just been sold and or you're going to do a recap hey on Monday Tuesday Wednesday you know Monday I sent you out an email and it was so funny me and Joe went bike riding and I fell down and I forgot my laptop at home or something you know, whatever you know and then you know Tuesday you're gonna go over the sales part you're gonna show them what you went through and not in a huge long letter but you can show them what you went through and then that's what you do on that day if the first three days and after Thursday you're able to kind of judge where people landed how it's going if it's going well that's great so you continue on the same content that's all related to the product that you've been selling all week if it didn't go so well say you have a list of 100 people and maybe 10 people opted in and no one bought anything we're gonna start fresh Thursday is gonna be your offer day you're going to do something related but different an affiliate offer if you um, have a large list and you sell solo ads that would be the day you would send out your solo ad um, so it would be related affiliate offers partner offers and it would be called what you call a flash sale that's how you would deal with that that's when the whole Monday Tuesday and Wednesday didn't go so well because sometimes that's gonna happen as you get better at ad copy as you get better at understanding the sequence and I'm gonna put it to work this week I can't wait I can't wait this is a super important thing to know because there's nothing wrong with having a flash sale there's nothing wrong with re-engaging and so you, you go ahead and you do that on Friday and Saturday okay so you introduce the flash sale you know give the product the problem the solution and the product that you're going to be selling with your affiliate link and on Saturday you're going to do some content about that affiliate link it's going to be related to the field related to the original product you sold but something a little different some people just you know maybe you're selling a blogging platform but they're really down with video and they didn't respond to the first part they would just it didn't even connect then all of a sudden on on Friday you're sending them a JV zoo product and how to explode your you know your YouTube 
That's pretty freaking awesome, right? And that's what gets them, oh, you know, ah, oh, I could use that. So think about that. Don't ever feel defeated because that's, that, that's silly. You're, you're, no matter how much experience you have, you are going through a learning process, okay? And number seven, the seventh day on Sunday, guess what you get to do? You take the day off again. You analyze how everything went during the week. If your your autoresponder has the ability to like analyze the campaign, that's that's exactly what you got to do, guys. Just sit there and analyze the campaign and let things go with the flow. Everything's cool, and set yourself up for the next week. Get started on your next offer. I mean, in in the business I am, I am an affiliate marketer, but I try not to promote too many different things. I feel it tends to confuse people, but what I can do is I can change my approach weekly right so say for instance I want to promote the power lead system because it's the toolbox like I got two things I got the toolbox and I got the university you gotta have the toolbox because if you don't have the toolbox you're not in business because otherwise what's happening if you're if you're not using the toolbox if you're not using an autoresponder and landing pages you're just building someone else's list it's kinda like going to a job and working really hard for small money to help someone else get rich it defeats the purpose of being an entrepreneur or working from home okay so build your own list so maybe this week it would be something I would be focusing on power lead system really easy for me I use it daily I really love the system I enjoy capture I enjoy everything about it so I could easily set up a, a seven day plan all going towards that now say it didn't go well say people didn't respond on the on the Friday and Saturday, I could be talking about the Internet Lifestyle Network. Maybe they, they already have an autoresponder. Maybe they already have a lead capture page they're happy with. They don't want to hear about mine's better, mine's cheaper, or mine's got a better compensation plan if you want to be... They don't want to hear it. They don't care. They're happy where they're at. But they've been looking around for a blog. They've been looking into hiring a coach, looking into paying for some JVZoo products to teach them something new. And I show them my LN, and I show them what I got on those two days, Friday and Saturday. That might be just the hook. That might be just the thing to get them to engage fully with my list. So when they opt in, you're going to have a whole other campaign set up directed towards the people that opted in. You're going to have that whole thing set up. You're going to continue providing value to that list of people that purchased, or the people that opted in, even if they didn't purchase. And you just keep going. And then you create a whole nother campaign for them the next week. So I'm super excited about watching that Ryan Dice video. It was about a half hour long. I'm hoping this is shorter. Ryan Dice from The Digital Marketer, he's absolutely genius. He knows what he's doing. And when you know you come across one of his videos, take your time to watch it. Okay? You know, it's funny because I don't always open his emails. Sometimes he's the one that waits. You know what I'm saying? And I've always wondered why he always has a recapture. You know what I'm saying? I'm always like, how do you how do you do that? You know, obviously he's been doing it a little bit longer and and, and better, and that's there ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't no shame in that game. So I'm going to follow what he's saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap into what he's taught me, and I hope that you guys do too, because I really think it's a better method. And I'm gonna share this with my blog. I'm gonna type out each individual step. And um, so with that being said, I would love to work with you. I'm looking for a few people to collaborate with. Actually, about five. To collaborate with to earn six figures in the next six months please don't hesitate if you're serious let's do this let's get this going the link's going to be the first thing you see underneath this video and the rest is going to be all about this email marketing campaign and I hope it helps you and brings you a lot of value share comment like reblog whatever it is you want to do make your own video about it go watch Ryan Dice's original and and make your own video about it. Bring value to the marketplace, guys, because that's what it's all about. I love you all. This is Coach Tara Woodruff, the helpful entrepreneur. Peace.